Thanks for being here, y'all. I wrote this piece uh, on June 28th, 2019, and uh, an act of precognition that's exactly five minutes. It's called How It Feels to Be Blacklisted. This will appear in an anthology coming out in October called Uncertain Places. My spiritual search is controversial. There is no easy way to explain this. Actually, there is an easy way to explain, but not to be heard. But I explore a highly personal version of what I consider Satanism. By that, I do not mean evil, violence, maleficence, or anything that has gotten historically or religiously misapplied to that term. Rather, I see the satanic as the romantic poets did, as the force of rebellion, radical self-expression, artistic freedom, usurpation, and revolution. I believe the snake in the garden was a trickster emancipator without whom humanity would not be itself. The price for that human creativity can be friction, but without it, we would not be sentient beings. As you can see, I am open and forthright about my search. This is because I believe in transparency and in a search without barrier or compulsion but there is a price, and I accept it. A New Age organization with which I have had years of productive collaboration and for which I have raised money recently hosted me for a conference. I was told that some members were uncomfortable with my search and its connotations, but that management nonetheless supported me which I appreciated. I delivered two talks, entirely unrelated to this topic, which received standing ovations, but do not look for them on YouTube. After one talk, an audience member tensely confronted me. I replied, much as I have here, and further explained that I have a code of nonviolence by which I do not mean desistance from legitimate self-defense, but rather doing nothing to disrupt another's search for highest potential. I added that I also believe in cosmic reciprocity, or what might be called karma, and I do not take a go-it-alone or hedonistic approach to life. More applause. The next day, numerous people, including the organization's director, congratulated me. All seemed well. Then, I returned home. Two days after arriving, I got an email stating that more people had complained, and in light of an unrelated lecture I delivered in New York City on Satanism, I was being cut loose, expelled, they immediately scrubbed me from their website, YouTube page, and catalog. Gone. Like that. How did it feel? I was not angry. I felt they were acting from fear. I admit, I was worried about further repercussions, but not worried enough to deny the same freedom of search for myself that I defend for others. I will lose some income and I have lost some people I considered friends. But when I think of figures I wrote about in Occult America, from mystic Johannes Kelpius to Shaker founder Mother Anne Lee to Vice President Henry A. Wallace, I am reminded of people who made far greater sacrifices and suffered calumny for the integrity of their search. Expulsions are a funny thing. Historically speaking, the people who commit them 
are usually next in line. And when that occurs, I will speak up for their rights to search, to seek, and to consensually experiment. It does not matter to me if it is a one-way street. The search has no lanes other than ahead. Thank you.